It is our annual test of endurance. Here we are again. This is the 2020 RSHL Ironman Tournament. Welcome to the RSHL. Daniel Wilson here. And let's go through the rules real quick so you get to know how this works. There will be five runners, one goalie, and that's all you will get. There are no substitutions allowed. Each game will be one period of 10 minutes. And this is a running clock. It will only stop at the discretion of the ref with the exception being in the championship game, which it will be a stop clock in the final minute of play. There are no offsides in this tournament, but icing will be in effect. All penalties will become penalty shots. So that's pretty much all you have to know. There are three divisions here. Each one will be split into gold and silver divisions. There are eight teams in the, the A division, eight teams in the B division, and 10 teams in the C division. So without further ado, we're gonna get straight to the action and it's next. We are in the a gold. We're looking at the best of the best here. It is Hog Hammers against Lock Monsters. Hog Hammers number one and Lock Monsters number four seeds. We're underway. Kevin Frost starts us off as he plays left. Tries to center it up for Derek Hale. Overshot him and down the floor to Reed Southern. Southern taking a look now crosses over. The center's up, left the ball behind. That one was Lee Rainers, I believe. And now here is Pat Barbado back over to Kevin Frost. Hill backhanded across. We'll find Joey Murphy off the boards. Josh Hale tries to look for his brother. It will eventually get to him back at the center line. Back to Kevin Frost for the Lock Monsters. And a one-timer and a save. Down low by John Cowan. That shot coming from Joey Murphy. Back around it goes and kept in by Derek Hale. Patrick Barbado looks for a shot. Tipped and saved by Cowan. Reed Southern. Four Hog Hammers will take it the other way. They're looking for their first attack up to Justin Viverito, a very dangerous shooter. That's the guy to keep an eye on as we go into the Lock Monster zone. Left corner, getting covered by Kevin Frost. Lee, Lee, Lee! Lee! Centers up for Lane. Shot is blocked. Back the other way. Centers up for Derek Hale. Oh, well, he had a chance for a breakaway, but a little too much. He does take a turnover. Shot saved, Cowan off the backhand. Reed Southern. Well, take it behind his neck. On pursuit is Derek Hale, trying to shake him off. Back the other way. Viverito will chip it in and cover it up. And, uh oh, some contact there as. That is Ryan Schaffner getting up in the face of Lee Rainers. There was a little extra contact. Well, he's got to be careful not to take a penalty for his team. I mean, I understand goalies trying to protect their crease. But he got to play smart as that stick goes flying away from the play. And a shot stopped by Schaffner. As I think someone lost their grip on a stick lift. And a shot going wide picked up by Kevin Frost. Well play upwards to Patrick Barbado. Down the floor looking for it is Brian Hooks and Joey Murphy. And Brian Hooks wins the battle. Down it goes. Battle between Derek Hale. Centers up for Reed Southern. Here is a shot and that goes wide. Back it goes. Here's Patrick Barbado off the stick of hooks and out of play. This should stay with the Lock Monsters. And by the way, I mix it up. Uh, the five is uh, Lee Rainers and uh, the blank shirt is Justin Viverito. Got those two mixed up. 
Back the other way, it is David and Lane. He'll drop it off for Reed Southern. Up to Lane. Up close, point blank, holding on, shot! And somehow he got a piece of it. David Rito taking a look, now centers for Rainers. Backhand, just wide. Centers up and tripped, and that's a penalty against the Lock Monsters. Delayed call, shot from Hooks is blocked, and a penalty shot will be assessed. And that is the one guy you don't want to take a penalty against. Justin Viverito, the one to take the shot. Viverito at a moderate pace. And a save by Schaffner. And sets it up. It's Kevin Frost back over to Joey Murphy. Tries to go back to Barbado. We'll play the cycle. Yeah, we'll take the shot, save, rebound, through four saves! John Cowan, four saves in a row, and a whistle! They are calling a penalty shot against the Hawk Hammers, and up to take it is Josh Hale. Well, you'll have to face a fifth shot, and this one is one-on-one. -on -one. And oh, he was trying to sneak one through the five hole, but he was not going to have any of that. It looked like Josh Hale was going to try to sneak one in, as it did not have any power to it, and it almost full Cowan. Off the boards, Barbado for the Lock Monsters. Centers up, looking for Murphy, poked away by Viverito. Southern crosses, tries to find Lane. Barbado rushes in and is poked back into the Hog Hammer zone. Josh Hale goes to Derek, lines up our shot. It is saved and out of play. This should stay with Lock Monsters. And Frost will play off the boards and diving across was. Brian Hooks. And Lee Rainers the other way. And tries to poke around Murphy. Rashad Sane! Oh, is it? Yes, he has it. He was not sure himself, but he does make the save. Shot going wide of the net. Looking for the rebound. Can't get it. Shot! And just a little wide. Rebound! Can't get it on net. Rainers back to Southern at the center line. Southern will play upward. Finds Rainers, shot is blocked. And back around over to Lee Rainers. Viverito in the corner. We have gone almost seven minutes into the game. No score so far, but plenty of chances. Derek Hale will go to Barbado. Three on three, facing hooks. Now crosses to Hale. Back to Kevin Frost at the point. Shot going wide on almost bounced over the crossbar. And up to Lane. They get a chance. Two on one. Oh, left it behind. Reed Southern with a shot saved by Schaffner. He'll hold on. And uh, Schaffner has a few words. I'm not quite sure what for, as this looked typical. Hey, Green, boys. Come on. As Viverito will tap it up and missed him. Come on, go, go, go. Here's Barbado the other way. Thinks about it, now holds up. We'll backtrack over to Hale. Back to Kevin Frost. They will reassess. We'll play deep. We'll be kicked off by David Lane through center. And a three on one the other way. Lane with a chance. Go! Finds it and will finally break the scoreless game, but it may not be for long. Shot save, Cowan off the shot from Derek Hale. It will, well, both these teams have been pretty aggressive on the goalies today as they will center up for Viverito. Viverito with a shot, just misses Schaffner. 
Lane will settle it down. A play back, turned it over. Hale, the other way to his brother. It is Derek, left to Barbado. Barbado thinks about a shot going high. Southern will pick it up for Hog Hammers. Stretches up, good stick by Barbado. Will center up for Josh Hale. He'll take it to the right boards, getting covered by Lee Rainers. Right corner, try center up, that's blocked. Southern will play up off the boards. We'll try to buy some time with one minute left in this game. Ken Frost off the boards, looking for some help. And that is put out of play by uh, Viverito. And uh, this will stay with the Lock Monsters. Over to Joey Murphy, overshot him. Rushing in. It was stopped by Viverito, but catched in by Frost. Shot just wide of the net. Trying to get a rebound chance off a stick. Fight for it is Viverito and Hale. Lane clears it out with only 20 seconds left. Frost off the boards, looking for Barbado. Turns it over to David Lane. It's a good try to seal this one up. Shot, score! Well, they're gonna do one more. I don't think that's necessary, but they will move on to the A gold final with both goals coming from David Lane. Well, the Lock Monsters did have a lot of chances, especially with a penalty shot and four saves in a row in one play, but it just wasn't to be for the Hog Hammers. With David Lane having the game winner, we'll be back with our next game. Going to the A Gold Semi number two, it is Pumpkin Spice. Up against, the, up against the Panthers who are in their white jerseys this time. They both came in with orange, so someone had to make a change. Going around is Frank Losey. Tries to break through, does. Can't find a way around, and here comes Nick Rose. Off the boards. Here's the call. Here they come. Jordan LaJoy can't get through through Swikas off the boards he tried to connect to Brent Chaplin and taking a poke check into the corner Rose will backtrack behind his own net for the Panthers and will just wait for the team to rearrange and back over to LaJoy Pick it up for Pumpkin Spice, it's Bill Arnold. Watch this door here. Bill waiting for a pass now, he'll get it upwards. Justin Young. Will play up into the right corner, finds Sweekus. Tries a shot and that just got a piece of Mitchell Consul. Try to look for a round, finds LaJoy. Good deke around for LaJoy. In the left corner. Getting covered by Frank Losey. Still waiting to make a move. He's just pinned up there. Can't find any lanes and now has to give it up to Drew Swakus. Here they come the other way. Young goes left. Shot just going wide from Brent Chaplin. Swakus goes over to. Chaplin again, he shot that one wide, just missing Mitchell Consul. Back behind the net, and off a foot that went off of Rose. Left corner one more time. Rose still waiting, now we'll play around, and we'll find Jordan LaJoy. Panthers will backtrack. And off the boards, trying to find some help. Can't find any. Here's a shot that is blocked off the stick of Rose. Back behind the net for the Panthers. 
The returning for them is John Hotchner. Unfortunately, the other Hotchner isn't with us today. As they play around the boards, and it is Brent Chaplin. Walk it up. Three minutes gone in this game, still no score yet, as we've only had one shot on net so far. Rose trying to play backwards. And, and whoa, big collision. That was awkward. He was trying to look for a call, but that was accidental. And that's good. Yeah, there was one of the refs signaling a penalty, but the other official said no, that was good. Here they come the other way. Slink is up over to Phil Arnold. Turns it over to Rose. Thinks about it. Now takes a wrist shot and a save by Connor Forsythe. And he'll be in the corner for the Panthers. The play's off the boards now. Back over to Rose. Thinks about it. He'll try a shot. That is blocked. LaJoy trying to find a way around. Can't find it. Now back the other way. Here comes Pumpkin Spice off a stick. Turns it over. Backhands it across. Right circle. He'll try a slap shot just high of the net. And good poke check from Pumpkin Spice. Here they come. On the attack. There's a shot. He Pumpkin Spice on the board. And he'll tap it up and try to avoid a couple of poke checks. Maybe a chance here. Shot just going wide and a late reaction from Consul. Turns it over. Here's Arnold again and a save by Consul. We'll chip it up and it's Shot just goes high of the net, playing around the boards. It tries to leave it behind. Back over to Justin Young on the boards. Shot going wide of the net. Now plays around over to Chaplin. He'll take a shot wide. And you can hear them making some moves on the defensive side. Thinking about it is Fisher now. It'll give it away over to Frank Losey. And that will go out of play. This should stay with Pumpkin Spice. Taking it is Frank Losey. He'll center up. Finds Justin Young trying to break through. Shot saved by Consul. On the attack is Rose. He'll just chip it in and easily handle by Foresight. As the Pumpkin Spice come back the other way, it is Young. We'll center up. Back and forth between Chaplin and Young. From the left boards, waiting. Tries to get around Fisher, unable. Back the other way. He'll try a shot, saved by Foresight. He'll hold on as but Joy just has to hover over. Uh, look for a siren pass. Can't find one. Back it goes over to the Pumpkin Spice. Brent Chaplin will center up. Little hopper. Frank Losey gets it. He'll take the shot off the crossbar. Back the other way for LaJoy. Thinks about it. He'll take the shot off the top of the crossbar and away from danger. Thinking about it is Swinkus. Off the boards again. LaJoy will push it back. LaJoy will take a shot. Saved by Foresight. As they will reset again. Thinking. Now plays right at the point. He'll try a shot off a stick and into the right corner. LaJoy will play around and over to Brent Chaplin for Pumpkin Spice. On for 
pursuit. He'll take the shot and just wide of the net. 2.20 remaining as the Panthers want to get something going here. They're trying to defend their Iron Man title. Handling it back over to Rose. He'll wind up and will take a slap pass on the left boards. He'll try a shot just wide of the net. He'll try another one from the boards. This will be deflected back over to Rose. He'll wind up for a shot. That's blocked by Chaplin. Glove down and pumpkin spice the other way. Maybe a chance here. And tries to get one on net. Does and console covers. As they're going to try to work quickly here. Young from the point thinking about it. Now plays off the boards. Turns it over. Panthers back the other way with 90 seconds left. The joy. From the left circle shot in. That one just got a piece of foresight. Centers up again off a body. Attempted clear. Second chance successful. But this will be an ice. Try remember, remember the three second rule. They have to let them have a chance to play the ball. Stretch pass easily detected. Rose trying to keep it alive but turns it over to Phil Arnold. Has the only goal of the game. Thinks about it. Now plays around the boards and will find Brent Chaplin. Thinks about it. Now crosses. Finds Phil Arnold again. Just trying to waste time as down the floor over to Frank Losey. And now the Panthers realize what's going on and they're going to rush it. Justin Young will play left to Brent Chaplin. 10 seconds left trying to kill off the remainder of that clock. And it looks like they will do just that. Pumpkin Spice moves on. And it's one last save. We'll go to the A gold final. And there they will have to face Hog Hammers. This will be a tough matchup. As we will have a new champion in the A division. And we'll be back with the final. Seven. into the A gold final. And this is where we find our best team in the tournament. Pumpkin Spice against Hog Hammers as we get ready to get underway here. And we are underway as Hog Hammers will get first dibs at the net, here's a long bomb and a quick save by Connor Forsythe. They love to shoot from the point, especially Brian Hooks, who has that heavy shot. Here's that shot going wide. That came from Justin Viverito. That is a guy you don't want to face. Here they come the other way. It is Justin Young. He'll break through, and he scores! Nothing, pumpkin spice. Viverito tries to center for Rainers instead. He will find David Lane, who got all the goals for Hog Hammers in the previous game. Southern tries to connect over to Lane, can't find him. Phil Arnold will stretch up, battling for it, can't find it. And now here it is Justin Viverito, who will stretch down, trying to find. David Lane, no ice here. It went off a stick. Pumpkin Spice will restart their attack. Justin Young thinks about it, goes left. Slap shot is blocked. Viverito gave it away. Frank Losey. 
Trying to fight off Lee Rainers. But you know, have to give it up. Turns it over between Losey and a shot from Suikas is blocked. Stretching it up is Viverito got blocked. Here's Suikas the other way. He'll play right off the board. Rushing in is Lee Rainers on the four tech. He'll be forced back into his own circle. Swakis will play upwards over to Justin Young. Trying to dig around Brian Hooks. Finds an opening shot and a save by John Cowan. That shot comes from Drew Swakis. Shot and a save. Well, Cowan has been having a lot of bigger workload than usual. Back over to uh, Brent Chaplin for Pumpkin Spice. 7.30 remaining with the only goal. You got it, Dave. Here's David Lane for Hog Hammers. Here is Brian Hooks. No, wristed up, intercepted by Phil Arnold. Here's a shot and a save by Connor Forsythe. Behind the end will play around the boards. Looking for an opening and that will find Brian Hooks instead. Southern winds up for the shot. That is tipped off a stick and wide. And here's a chance. Looking for it underneath Forsyth that pops out. Now looking for an opening for Pumpkin Spice. And a chance on a breakaway. Phil Arnold, shot save Cowan. David Lane trying to pick things up for Hog Hammers off the boards and will be played back by Chaplin. Young all along the left boards has a couple options. It goes for Swakus. He'll get a return pass. Young with a shot. He scores! <laughs> Fourth and a whistle. They're, they're saying it was not behind the goal lines. They got to reset. Six minutes remaining. Justin Young makes it two nothing for Pumpkin Spice. They came in as number two seed. Shot from the center line goes wide, coming from Phil Arnold. Back it goes to Justin Young. Left. Here's a shot. He scores. <laughs> It's a 3-0 lead for Pumpkin Spice. Well, I'll try to see. I think it was, I think it was uh, Chaplin. I'll double check. Right back it goes to Phil Arnold. Will be blocked by Lee. Here's a chance for Phil Arnold, but he'll lose it. Swakis will play it down the floor. And it will be off a stick and off of Justin Viverito. No icing here. Rushing in is Frank Losey. Back here goes to Justin Viverito. Trying to look for a centering pass. Can't find one. And knocked away. Kept there by Lee Rainers. They need to get something going now. Shot from Viverito is saved by Forsythe. Back it goes. Chance for Southern. And a good block by Swakus. And down the floor, they say no ice. Cowan comes out. I'm going to try to leave it for Brian Hooks. Hooks plays off the boards. Gave it away. Brent Chaplin. Centers up. And we'll go off of Justin Young. Tries to go for a one-timer and he whiffs it. He was trying to connect to Drew Swakus. David Lane will find his way up and we'll get to Lee Rayners. And try to look for a tip from Reed Southern and just missed him. Behind the net is forced to rush it and we'll go up over to Swakus. Centers up for Young. We'll be down the four again with about 3.30 remaining. Hog hammers in a very dire situation. Back over to Viverito and a save by Forsythe. 
We'll center up again off this stick of foresight. Pumpkin Spice trying to break through on a one-on-one. -on -one. It's Young up against Hooks. Trying to break through. Good defensive play by Hooks. Shot from Rainers goes wide. Second chance. Wide of the net. Coming out of Forsyth. He can't cover. Back over to Southern. Looking for a centering pass. Can't find one. And it's off the stick of Phil Arnold. Behind the net one more time. Play around the boards. Kept in by Lee Rainers. We'll try a wrist shot. Saved by Forsyth. And, and a breakaway the other way. Brent Chaplin. He will make a save, John Cowan. Is Brian Hooks. He'll try a long bomb and it's blocked. Everybody looking for you and cleared away. Hey, with him, Dave. Come on. It's Frank Losey. He gets cut off by David Lane. Lane rearranging. The aggressiveness factor has to be through the roof right now. Is this glove down? Justin Young will go upward. Try to make his way around is Fred Chaplin saved by Cowan. As Brian Hooks will play off the boards, we'll find Reed Southern. Centers up and instead we'll go over to Viverito. One timer interrupted. As it will be down the floor one more time for Brent Chaplin. Chaplin taking his time. Shot score! Nothing lead. Shot say the other way, and that one goes wide. So we can pretty much say that this one is done and over with as we approach the one minute mark. Pumpkin Spice had a huge hill to climb, and they come away in dominant fashion. Slap shot from Hooks. It gets blocked into the left corner. Where you're facing the likes of Justin Viverito, one of the best shooters in the RSHL. That is a tough task to handle. That bounces around with 50 seconds left. Around the boards one more time over to Frank Losey. Around one more time and played away by Swakus. Lane for Hawkhammer, so I'll have to try one. And that is covered up by Forsyth. And it was pretty quick, but where is it? It was covered up. Or no, did they score? Yes, they, they did score. I didn't see who got it, so they break the shutout. But it will not matter. Lost it up to Chaplin, who's just going to wind down the rest of the clock. And... This is your best of the best. This is not just seasonal. It is all around as Pumpkin Spice comes away with a 4-1 win and the A gold title. There was a couple of newcomers into the uh, into the league and Pumpkin Spice comes up big. And let's see who they uh, award it to. So the MVP award has been given to Phil Arnold. So Pumpkin Spice comes away with the highest level trophy. Hey, that is going to do it for the A division, but we still have the B and C divisions for you. Be sure to check those out. Until then, 
from Raleigh, this is Daniel Wilson. We'll see you next time around. If you enjoyed this game, be sure to check out the other games here on our YouTube channel at Raleigh Street Hockey. Also be sure to check out our sponsors at allblackhockeysticks.com. You can get an all black stick for just under $100. Not a bad deal. Also be sure to check out our other sponsor, Hagen Hockey, which has some great hockey equipment for you. In order to get free shipping, just use the promo code Raleigh Street Hockey.